Hey everyone, so today I'm going to show you guys my cheek collection. So any kind of cheek product that I have um, that I typically wear on my cheeks, I'm going to show you swatches of that. And um, so basically this is my blush collection. And um, I've, I've already done swatches on my hands and I'm just going to kind of go through each product and I'll let you know how I like it, what, what color it is, and show you guys swatches. So the first... Um, that I'm going to go through are my Bobbi Brown Pot Rouges. This um, palette, the Orchid palette, has three in it. You can purchase these um, in the actual store, uh, any Bobbi Brown counter, full-sized. I just have them in the palette. And they are the same quality. I love these. These are probably my favorite blushes to wear. So there are these three, and the first one is Sand Pink, and that would be this one. Next is Pale Pink, and then the next one is Powder Pink. They've an awesome texture to them. They obviously, you know, you blend them out so they're not as intense, and they just give your complexion like a really nice healthy glow, and, and they just, they make your skin look healthier. I don't know how to describe it, but they do a really good job, so I really love those. Next, this is a product from MAC. This is the Hocus Focus Colorful Face Kit. And inside, there's Peachy Keen, there's um, Sun Sparked Pearl, and then Pretty Baby uh, Beauty Powder. And I swatched all of these. So this is uh, Peachy Keen. And then this is the Highlight Powder, which I tried to capture it, but it is very difficult. And also Pretty Baby Beauty Powder. It, it, you know, the beauty powders really aren't meant to be pigmented. They're meant to blend out your blush. And, um, and I, I really do love this face kit. It's, it's very nice. Next, I'm just going to kind of go into my, my blush palette. Um, I only have one of these right now, which I need to get another one, but whatever. Okay, so the first one, this is this was released with Neo Sci-Fi, and I, for the life of me, cannot remember it at all. I, I don't know what's wrong with me. But I have tried to remember. I cannot remember. So um, anyway, it's a beautiful, gorgeous peach with hot pink in it and gold shimmer. And it's absolutely my favorite peach ever. And surprisingly, I because I don't really like to wear a whole lot of peaches, but I actually really like that one. Um, next would be Stark Naked, which is kind of like my going out blush. It's a plumish kind of color with gold sparkle in it. The gold sparkle doesn't really show up uh, once you put it on, and it's right here. It's just a really nice, mm, kind of purpley, plummy shade. It's very nice. Um, the next shade is a shade from Cult of Cherry, and it was called Plum de Bois, and it's that one right there. It's kind of a brownish color, and I love to wear it with blooming as well. But it is right here. And I don't know how well you can see it, because it is on my knuckles. <laughs> but it's just this really soft brown that really, um, a kind of plummy brown. And it just looks really good on my skin tone. Next one is Blooming, and that is the pink that went along with it. These are beauty powder blushes, I believe. I don't remember. But this looks so good. I love this combination. So using both of these on the cheeks is just like, I get so many compliments on it when I, when I use it. Next one is um, a cream blush called Posy. I honestly don't reach for this ever. I really don't. I'm being honest. It's just a nice reddened kind of rose pink. It's very nice, but I just, like, I, I, I focus more on my eyes, so I don't really reach for that color. Next is the Perfect Cheek, and it is literally the Perfect Cheek. If you're NC15, go out and find this blush. I know it was limited edition, but it's right here, and I had to really pack it on because it is like a shade darker than my natural skin tone, and it really gives you like the perfect flush without being over the top. Next is NARS Angelica, and I am wearing this today lightly, very lightly. But it is a bright cotton candy pink with silver sparkle. And it's right there. I really love that one. Um, 
The next one is Pleasantry from MAC. And it is very similar to uh, Angelica, but it's lighter and frostier. And I reach for that one frequently. Okay, the next one is Gentle, and it is also a mineralized uh, blush from MAC. And it's right here. It's actually on my knuckle here. <laughs> but it's a nice um, pink with a little bit of purple undertones in it. Um, it's very light. I don't reach for it too often, but it is very it is very beautiful. I like the mineralized blushes because they're very light and sheer and you can build up the color and then they've got like a nice frostiness to them. Next is Crush Bougana Villa and this was released with Emmanuel and it's a cream color base. And I use this as a blush and it's absolutely amazing as a blush and lip color. And it's just, when you blend it out into your skin, it's perfect for winter. This is another cream blush. This is a... Um, this was released with Lily Land, Joy de Vivre. It's a nice corally color, corally pink. Absolutely amazing on the lips. I love this color. One of my favorites. Next, this is a blush that was released with Hello Kitty. This is Tippy. It's a very popular one. Um, it's a very bright pink with purple in it. And it's right there. It has a nice sheen to it. Next, this one is by NYX, and it's called Pinky. And this one looks very similar to NARS Angelica, but without the shimmer, and it's, it is a different texture. Next is my favorite everyday blush, I think, Pink Swoon. And it's right here. It's very nice. There's a reason this one is so popular. It looks so good on fair skin. Uh, if you're darker, you know, you probably want to go with maybe something a little bit darker, but it is very nice. If you're lighter than NC15, you may want to go with Well Dressed, because Well Dressed is the same color, just a little bit tad lighter. Next, this is Moon River. This is probably my favorite MAC blush. I love this blush. It's just awesome. And I swirled it together, and uh, that's it right there. It's very light. As you can see, it's very frosty. Next is another mineralized blush. This is called Improvise, and it's a peachy, goldeny kind of color. I like to do it when I'm trying to go with something light on the cheeks. It's right there, while you can see it. Next, this is an awesome blush. Go get it. It's Rome by Cargo, and it is a bright orange, hot pinky, goldeny color corally color. It's awesome. It's just, it's perfect for spring and summer. And then next, this is a Polish Choice blush. I don't know if it's still available. It's called Sienna. It's a very dark matte brown. I use this to contour. So clearly, uh, as you can see, it's very, very dark, but light-handed, you can use it to contour. Um, next is the MAC Mineralized Skin Finishes that I own. This is Soft and Gentle, which I highly recommend. I think it's a great everyday highlight. And it's right there. It's very light, so, I mean, I don't know how well you can see it. Next is Petticoat, which I love this, but I don't reach for it anymore. I don't know why. I need to start reaching for it again. Um, it's a beautiful pinky color. It's goldeny reddish. There's it reminds me of pink opal pigment. Again, it's it's very light. Don't know how well you can see it. Next would be my beauty powders. Um, this is Flower Miss Dew, released with Emmanuel. I can't really swatch this. It's very light. Again, beauty powders are really meant to blend out your blushes. This is also Tahitian Sand. Uh, it was released with Hello Kitty in another collection as well. I don't remember what though. But I love the packaging.